Hey, welcome back everyone. Moving on to more exponential expressions to simplify. So starting with one, we got the third root of 8 m to the 6 uh, n to the 9 over the square root of 64 m to the 4 n to the 12. Now, whenever I see these sort of radicals here, I always like to change them to rational exponents. So if you remember, if we have the x root of something, well, we could change that to that a to the power of 1 over x. So the third root of all of this, we could take all of that, 8m to the 6, uh, n to the 9, and that is all going to go to the power of 1 over 3. Then over here we have a square root, so there's like a 2 here. So 64m to the 4n to the 12 will all go to the power of 1 over 2. And then from here, it's just the same as we've been doing. So I'm going to take this, distribute it inside the bracket. So I'll have 8 to the power of 1 over 3, m6 uh, to the power of 1 over 3. And then I'll have this n to the 9 to the power of 1 over 3. All over 64 will go to the power of 1 half. Uh, m to the 4 will go to the power of 1 half. And then uh, n to the 12 will go to the power of 1 half as well. So bring that up here. 8 to the power of 1 over 3 is what? That's just 2. Third root of 8. 6 times 1 over 3, that gives us 2. So this would be m squared. 9 times 1 over 3, that gives us uh, 3. So that will be n to the power of 3 all over... 64 to the power of a half, the square root of 64 is 8. Uh, 4 times a half is 2. And then 12 times a half is 6. And then from here, we just simplify this. So, uh, notice the m squareds, those will cancel out. 2 over 8, that's like 1 over 4. And then we have 3 n's up top. 6 ends on the bottom, meaning that we'll be left with 3 ends on the bottom, right? 3 minus 6 is negative 3, then you bring that to the denominator because it's a negative, uh, negative exponent. So 1 over 4n to the power of 3, that is the answer to number 1. Okay, number 2. We have the fifth root of 243m to the 10 and to the 15 all over the third root of 64 m to the negative 3 n to the 6. So pretty much the same thing. So we're going to take 243 m to the 10 n to the 15. I'm going to take that to the power of positive 1 over 5, right? Take the radical expression, change it to a rational exponent. Same thing here. 64 m to the negative 3 n to the 6. I'm going to change that to the power of 1 over 3, right? Third root of all of that. Same thing as to the power of 1 over 3. And then, same thing that we did here, just distribute that exponent. So 243 uh, is going to go to the power of 1 over 5. n to the 10 is going to go to the power of 1 over 5. And then n to the 15 will go to the power of 1 over 5. All over 64 goes to the power of 1 over 3 n to the negative 3 goes to the power of 1 over 3, and then n to the 6 goes to the power of 1 over 3. Then from here, we keep simplifying. So 243 to the power of 1 over 5, the fifth root of 243 is just 3. 10 times 1 over 5 gives us 2. 15 times 1 over 5 gives us 3. Uh, the third root of 64 is 4. Negative 3 times 1 over 3, that gives us uh, what? m to the negative 1. And then this here, 6 times 1 over 3, gives us 2. Okay, so continuing this up here, uh, 3 over 4, can't simplify that any further. So that would stay, so we'd have 3 over 4. This m to the negative 1, I'm going to bring up to the um, numerator, right? Negative exponent, bring up. So I'll have m to the 1, and then I'll have um, m squared. 
And then the ends, I'm going to simplify. So three, end, uh, three ends up top, two ends on the bottom, meaning we're left with one n up top. And then m to the one times m to the two, that would give us three m to the three. You could just add the exponents, right? Common base. This n is still there, and this is gonna be all over four. So that there is the um, final answer. Now at this point, you could have also did two minus negative one, which would be like two plus one, which would give you three. But again, any negative, ex uh, any negative exponents, especially if it's attached to just one variable, I always just like to bring it over and then simplify, right? Either way, whatever you do, that should be the final answer.